Namaste children, this is Mousmi, Science Faculty, Mangala Vidya Mandira. Today's lesson, we are going to learn chapter 13, Motion and Time. So in this chapter, what topics we are going to discuss? So we will discuss about motion, slow and fast. Speed, measuring speed, measuring time, unit of speed and time, measuring instrument and distant time and time graph. So these all things we are going to discuss in this chapter. So motion so to know the motion first we should know about the position so uh, when we can say the things is motion to know that we have to know that position of the things so where it will be that will be the initial position or if it change its position with time so where it will go that will be the final position so just you observe if one things is here okay another okay then first i can observe the things is here so it is called its position okay so when it will go here so it will be after some time t it's reached here so now it's its final position so if you observe a things if you observe a things for long time it is here only it did not change its position maybe uh, before five minutes i have observed these things here then after another 10 minutes i observe the things is here Another half an hour observe, I observe that the things is there. That means with the time, it is not changing its place. That means the things is in rest. Okay, so what we call it is in rest. So if the same thing, if it is moved from here to here with time, okay, that we can say the things has motion. So this much motion it has got okay so that means the what is the motion so motion is the phenomena which an object changes its position over time okay so when it will change its position over time that means it has motion so in, in our regular day-to-day -day situation, we can see different types of motion. So, when an object is moving in a straight line, that time we can say it is it has a rectilinear motion. That means with time, it is moving in a straight path. Okay, when um, one train is crossing a straight bridge, so that in that time, it has the straight rectilinear motion when we are just throwing a ball it will roll uh, down it will roll on a uh, path it will go straight so it has a rectilinear motion so when the motion is in a straight line it is known as linear motion or rectilinear motion okay now we can observe the so many things like the uh, movement of clock giant, giant wheel okay so these all if you observe it has a circular motion it will move the object will move through a circular path okay so this type of motion is known as circular motion the very good and uh, natural example is the movement of earth towards the uh, around the sun okay the movement of earth around the sun is a circular motion okay now periodic motion this motion in that particular 
interval of time the motion will repeat okay like that if you observe clock it has a circular motion as well as it has a periodic motion also every 12 hours it will again it will start from zero okay so like that if you observe that uh, old time pendulum clock used there there you can observe it is the movement is uh, periodic with the time it will be move the same uh, place okay so like this way we can divide the different types of motion so it is all we can see in our day-to-day -day life situation okay now slow and fast so how we can uh, compare the motion of any object it is slow or fast so when we have to compare we need two things okay so if this one is moving so how i can say it, this object is slower if it is only moving we can't compare so slow and fast means we have to compare means we need two objects so this one is another one if it is another one so these both are moving and when we can say they both are when it will move <coughs> in the same direction okay when the two object will move in the same direction that time we can compare how uh, which one is fast or which one is slow okay so for that always and if these both are traveling one is this side one is this side so this time it is also difficult to compare because one is going another one side that means that time what we have to do we have to fix the distance we have to fix the distance and the, that much distance in how much time they both are covered that time we can compare how much first but when they both are moving in same direction if we observe that which one is uh, reach fast to the destination or which one is going so if you observe this uh, see here these two horses riding so first one in this white jacket person is riding this one is fast we can say because it is moving first okay if we observe this all car see this uh, yellow car it is the fast fastest then uh, we can compare so which color we can see and we can compare which one is first so like this way we can compare when that um, we, uh, <coughs> things or object is moving in the same direction it is very easy to compare but if it is moving in other direction also we can compare but that time what we have to do we have to keep a fixed time or fixed distance that means maybe five kilometer the both the vehicle both the um, different direction let it go but if it is that five kilometer how much time it is maybe one car is taking 10 minutes another car is taking five minutes so we can say which car has take five minutes it's the first fastest okay so there should be more than one yes when we have to compare it must should have more than one object okay then object should be the same direction it is very easy to compare in same direction but it is not hard and first that they have to okay now as they are moving what i am telling they are covering some distance with time okay so when they are come um, uh, covering some distance in a particular time that means we can calculate its speed so what is speed total distance covered by an object in unit time so in unit time how much distance it will cover that we can see the speed okay normally speed um, what we can say that uh, when we are traveling say how much fast you can go how much slow so like that that means how some same distance how fast you can cover okay so that means your speed should be more or if you are uh, going slow means your speed is less so like this way that how much distance you are covering in that way there are different types of speed 
first one is uniform speed so uniform speed to compare so maybe here a b c d so this much distance one car is moving so maybe this is 10 meter this is 10 meter this is 10 meter so one car has to okay so this car has to move so how much distance it is taking so maybe for this it take five minutes okay for b to c also it takes five minutes then c to d also it take five minutes so what you can observe that equal interval of times it is covering equal distance okay so equal interval means each five minutes it is covering 10 meters each five minutes it is covering 10 meter so that means it is going in a moving in uniform speed okay so this type of speed that means when that uh, vehicle or object will cover the distance uh, the equal distance in equal interval of time that type of speed is known as uniform speed same way non-uniform speed that means what i example i have gives is 10 meter 10 meter 10 meter maybe first 10 meter it took 10 minutes then second 10 meter it took uh, 8 minutes then third 10 meter it took uh, 5 minutes again last 10 meter it took um, 6 minutes so like that we what you are observing that each 10 meter it is taking different different time interval okay so that means its speed is not uniform it is every month so what is the speed for 10 meter it is taking 10 minutes so 10 meter by 10 so this is the speed for first 10 meter second 10 meter it took 8 minutes so 10 by 8 so first second time its speed is 10 by 8 meter per second so like this way every moment every time, equal interval of time or equal every um, equal interval of this equal distance it is covering in different different time okay so this type of speed is known as non-uniform normally when vehicles are moving in a road um, different turning it will get then hump in the road so you can observe it will have the non-uniform speed okay and next is average speed so average speed is the total distance it will cover how much time it will take to cover a total distance how much time total time taken that is known as average so total distance divided by total time and when we are talking about speed we are talking only about the um, magnitude that's how much it is how much speed it is so we are not talking about the particularly this way it is going this so direction we are not mentioning that's why the speed is known as scalar quantity so what do you mean by scalar quantity scalar quantity is nothing but the it will represent only the magnitude of the uh, quantity like speed we are only the getting the uh, 50 meter per second square here we are not mentioning any time the direction okay and so that is called uh, speed uh, that's why speed is known as scalar, scalar quantities okay so now <coughs> the object when it is uh, high speed means it will take less time to uh, cover a particular distance okay or uh, if it is slow means uh, um, slower speed means it will take more time to uh, cover a particular distance okay now measuring time so uh, here um, uh, measuring time uh, we all know nowadays we have so many instrument or uh, thing or um, clock like that clock digital then digital clock analog clock or wall clock wristwatch then mobile uh, everything we can easily uh, measure the time 
but long 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 before ago long ago that time there was no time so people how they used to measure the time like um, a long, um, just uh, you can even very when there was no concept of time that time people know that when sun will rise it is the day starts and sunsets when night starts so day and night but after that um, one uh, full moon day to another full moon day one month so like that they used to uh, think about the time so one year means one complete solar uh, um, revolution of i means one uh, summer to another summer they will think about the one year so but uh, uh, you know the great uh, um, philosopher scientist the galileo galilei so once he was just in his room he observed that that one um, light was hanging and it was moving continuously to and fro movement was there so how it is the movement was the movement was like this so it is like this moving okay this like this movement he observed and then he just hold his his pulse and he observed that it is taking near about same time for every then he observed that he just uh, start experimenting in these things and he just took the different length uh, with some object different length of the thread okay string so he observed that that uh, for a fixed length he is getting the uh, time period of this pendulum the same so if he change the length of the uh, pendulum the that time period will change otherwise it will take so he is first starting with his um, pulse rate and he count that always he is getting the same number okay so like that way he discover the simple pendulum and from that uh, concept this so many things and long long before ago people used to use sundial uh, then uh, another uh, sun clock so these all things they used to that means they used to keep the uh, shadow of they used to the instrument they used to keep like that on that sun will uh, sun rays will fall down and they will get the shadow so calculate the shadow and they used to measure the time okay so this is very ancient time ago so sundial sun clock and then sand clock water clock so these all things they used to use for a long time but nowadays we are very like we have lots of things to measure the time okay so here you have to know about the simple pendulum okay so here you can observe this uh, one rigid fixed thing support will be there on that we will fix it uh, long thread and small uh, metal ball we will fix that is called bob okay so this bob uh, so if we pull this one like this way so this is fixed this is thread and this is the bob so if we start this from here okay like this so this is one extreme point let me write a okay then from here this is the neutral point o okay and this is b so if i start from here okay so i will i will just pull this one first from here to here so i will pull and i will start like this it will reach to one extreme point b and then it will come here and it will reach again here so from here, from starting a to it will reach to b from b to a so this one complete uh, moment is known as one oscillation okay so other way we can say if it is like this if it is start from here it will go here then go here then again that means here here 
again here and again it will reach to middle point that also known as that means from where we will start it will come back from complete one moment after one moment it will come back same place it is known as complete one oscillation and to complete one oscillation how much time it will take that is known as time period okay so now what is simple pendulum simple pendulum can be made by tying about one meter of uh, long thread with a small metal ball suspended from a rigid support and it is we have to make it to free swing okay so that it will be stopped in the main position now so what I told a complete oscillation so one complete oscillation if it is start from A it will reach to B and come back again to A so this is come that this is traveling of the bob complete traveling is known as complete one oscillation okay so this one oscillation how much time it will take this is known as time period okay let us take one example maybe so this is the mean position so this is a this is b so so complete one oscillation so for like this 20 oscillation it took um, 44 seconds so it will take 40 by 20 so it will be 2.2 seconds okay so what will be the time period time period always written is a capital d so the time period for a simple pendulum will be 22 sec 2.2 seconds okay if it is like this it's not fixed we have to do the experiment that we can get the answer okay now now this is very important things already you have learned that unit unit is very important already i told that there are physical quantities has unit okay like that length mass time okay these all are the physical quantities we should have unit without unit it is if i tell you are five so what do you mean by you are five you are five years old you are five kg or you are five meter high your height is five meter or something so this number is not represent anything when we will write with the number some unit that time it will be clear to us what we want to say okay so unit is very much important so for that so already i have uh, one fundamental class i have told there are seven fundamental quantities okay and here we we maximum time nowadays we are using si unit si unit uh, standard international unit okay so si unit is universally accepted and like that so speed what is speed already we have understand so speed is nothing but total distance by time so distance the unit of distance unit of distance is nothing but the fundamental quantity unit of length okay so the unit of length we know si unit is meter other than si unit it has kilometer hectometer decameter decimeter centimeter millimeter these all are there okay and also the time the SI unit of time is seconds but it we can consider time as a hour uh, and minute okay so speed normally if you observe in different vehicles and all you used to write speed as a kilometer per hour kilometer per hour that means because it is long distance it is any vehicles it is moving or long distance it is traveling that's why we if we write in meter per second it will be a long number we have to write 
ओके बिग नंबर सो दैट्स वाई वी यूज टू यूज किलोमीटर पर आवर बट वेन वी विल डू द कैलकुलेशन इफ इट इज आस्क यू टू कन्वर्ट इट इज वेरी इजी यू कैन एबल टू कन्वर्ट बिकॉज ऑलरेडी यू नो दैट वन किलोमीटर इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मीटर वन सेकेंड इक्वल टू सिक्सटी इंटू सिक्सटी आव सॉरी वन आवर इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स दैट मीन्स वही नो वन आवर इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मिनिट वन मिनिट इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स ओके सो लाइक दिस वे वी कैन कन्वर्ट ओके इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड रिमेम्बर वन किलोमीटर इक्वल टू थाउजेंड मीटर वन मीटर इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर सो लाइक दिस दिस ऑल कन्वर्शन यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर ओके नाउ एज वी नो दिस स्पीड इक्वल टू टोटल डिस्टेंस बाय टोटल टाइम टेकन सो फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस ऑल्सो ओके सो डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू स्पीड इन टू टोटल टाइम टेकन एंड टोटल टाइम हाउ इन डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड ओके इफ वी हैव इन एनी प्रॉब्लम्स वी गेट इन दिस चैप्टर सो दिस ऑल फॉर्मूला वी आर यूजिंग ना सो ऐसा यूनिट ऑफ स्पीड इज मीटर पर सेकेंड बट वी आर यूजिंग अदर यूनिट लाइक किलोमीटर पर आवर किलोमीटर पर मिनिट किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड सो दिस ऑल वी कैन यूज Also, the unit of time, एस SI unit of time is एस and other hour, minute and also we should always remember the conversion. So today we are we learn this much. So you have to read the textbook as well as you have to make a simple pendulum. With a thread and a metal ball, you can use the small stone also, and you just find out the time period for that. Okay, so I I didn't write here the activity, so I will write uh, in that PDF. So what do you have to do? You have to make a simple pendulum, okay, and find out the time period. Neatly you do the activity. Okay, make a small video and upload. Also write in uh, activity book white page. You neatly draw a simple pendulum and the calculation you write. So how how many times oscillation you should count and find the time period. Okay, use the stop clock. It is very you you can get it in mobile stop clock. Okay, stop watch. so use that stopwatch and find out the time period for you should make your own simple pendulum okay you should do and you should uh, upload that video in the group okay i hope you all have understood any doubt ask in the group okay thank you children